Welcome to ADP for Learning. I am Ashish Kutyal. Today we will learn about a new topic regarding the science behind Mendel's wrinkled peas. In this video, we will delve into the groundbreaking experiment that changed the course of genetic research. Gregor Mendel, a 19th century Austrian monk, conducted an experiment with peas that revolutionized the understanding of inheritance patterns. So, don't wait any longer. Hit the like button now and share the video with your friends so that they also can join us on this exciting journey of discovery. Have you heard about wrinkled peas? In general, the pea plant can produce smooth or wrinkled seeds. Wrinkled peas taste sweet. Gregor Mendel studied this pea trait to establish the laws of inheritance back in 1863. Now, the question arises what is the cause of wrinkled peas? The main cause of wrinkled peas is an affected protein SB1 popularly known as starch branching enzyme 1. When functioning normally, the SB1 enzyme builds starch, a large molecule made by all plants as a way to store energy. Starch is a polymer made of many sugars that are linked together. The main job of SB1 is to add branches to the chains of sugar. Branches help starch grow very large and they can be broken down quickly when the plant needs energy. So, the next question arises what is the genetic basis of wrinkled peas? The answer lies under a large insertion that disrupts the coding sequence of the SB1 gene. The tail end of the SB1 protein is lost, which disables the protein. The peas can't make branch starch, and sugar accumulates. As sugar attracts water, causing the peas to swell and then wrinkle as they mature and dry. So, a question can come to mind, do there are other species that also show such wrinkles? The answer is yes. All plants have starch branching enzymes, including corn, rice, wheat, apples, and potatoes. Animals store sugar not as starch but as glycogen, so they have a glycogen branching enzyme similar to SB1. In horses and people, mutations in GB1 cause organ failure and early death. At last, a question arises do we consider it as variation, disease, or both? The answer is variation. As in peas, variations in SB1 affect seed shape and sweetness. Thank you for listening and exploring different examples under the mutation series. In the future, we will come up with more interactive topics. Meanwhile, don't forget to like, share, and comment.